Hello aspirants, welcome back to another session of Electrical Inspector, Assistant Electrical Inspector. So today we are going to discuss about basic electrical engineering part 1, so that is electrical circuit. So here today we are going to discuss concept of current, voltage, power, power factor, energy, resistance, uh, specific resistance, temperature coefficient of resistance. So specific resistance and temperature of coefficient resistance we will discuss deeply uh, in doing problems while doing problems okay so till now here we can do the uh, part one so from cells and batteries associated problems magnetic circuits electromagnetic induction ac fundamentals ac circuits single phase and polyphase i will be discussing in part two of the video so further any delay let us get started so basic electrical engineering part 1 video concept of current so what is current it is the rate of flow of charge what is current it is the rate of flow of charge what is charge so somebody asks you what is charge you should not say any definition being an aspirant or a uh, competitive examiner uh, you are going to appear in competitive exams you should remember the formulae for charge or any uh, specific uh, current or voltage anything ok. So in order to remember this formula for charge you should remember the code word called what quit here you can replace u with equals to then it will become the charge. So current is measured by measuring how many electrons are passing through material every second how the current is measured how many electrons which are passing through material ok charges carried by electrons in the material per second so here charge on one electron is 1.602 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so one coulomb of charge is defined as charge possessed by the electron. So, 1 coulomb is nothing but 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 ok, small correction here ok. What is the 1 coulomb? Let me take different pen. So, 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 number of electrons ok. So let us take one simple problem here see if a current of 5 amps flows for 2 minutes find the quantity of electricity transferred ok. They are asking quantity of electricity, electricity transferred let me read the question once again if current of 5 amps flows for 2 minutes find the quantity of electricity transferred solution we recently discussed for charge we should find the charge so formula for the charge is nothing but q equals to i into t what they are given current they have given i as 5 amps and they have given time that is 2 minutes so time is in seconds but they have given in minutes so we need to convert that minutes into seconds so 2 into 60 for 1 minute it is 60 second we all know that so 120 so q equals to 5 into 120 it will become 600 coulombs so this is the quantity of electricity transferred in the electrical circuit ok so if if you talk about uh, range of current in micro amps milliamps amps in kiloamps symbol note notation uh, like small i capital i uh, i vector and i of t i of t y uh, time varying current so circuit symbol it is represented like this arrow going upwards arrow going downwards represent higher potential lower potential of current so ac means sinusoidal it will be represented like this so in uh, if we talk about the voltage or current here we are talking about current right so practical 
applications or devices components are DC series converter BJT is a dependent current source current is constant in BJT okay for time being you stick to this I will explain this in future that is in analog electronics so in AC if you talk about AC feeder lines in power system gives the current and CSI drive in power electronics that is current source in water okay this is about current now we will discuss about voltage so voltage is defined as okay what what it is so it is the amount of work amount of work or force required to push or move a unit of charge okay from one point to another point work amount of work or force required to move a unit of charge to one point to another point is nothing but voltage okay the different names for voltage are also electric pressure electromotive force or electric potential and unit of voltage is volts okay so or joules per coulomb where this joules come from means electrical potential is nothing but electrical potential equals to work done divided by charge work done is from newton force and joules okay range of voltage is nothing but millivolt volt kilovolt megavolt okay symbol it is represented like this capital V small v v vector and v of t huh? so sorry if you talk about the circuit symbol the cell or battery okay so in dc in ac this is like this sinusoidal so practical application of voltages in dc is nothing but cell battery fuel cell they all they all are used as a uh, dc voltage source pv solar cell rectifier dc to dc converter dc generator if you talk about ac alternator ups uninterrupted uninterrupted power supply inverter okay so let's move forward if you talk about the resistance it is a lti linear time invariant electrical property of a material which opposes the flow of current okay it it may feel difficult for you so you just remember resistance is a electrical property of a material which opposes the flow of current okay resistor is a component resistor is a device with fixed range of 1 ohm 10 ohm 100 ohm etc like that okay and it can be modeled and designed as per our requirement correct resistor so unit we rep, uh, unit of resistance is ohms so symbol is like this and it is made up of nichrome tungsten carbon copper aluminum etc so range lies from micro ohm milli ohm ohms kilo ohm mega ohms giga ohms and basic formula for it is r equals to rho l by a this is specific uh, resistivity uh, l is nothing but length of the conductor area cross sectional area of the conductor okay so practical resistance depends upon the temperature we should know this so rt equals to r naught into 1 plus alpha t and r2 equals to r1 into 1 plus alpha t2 minus t1 where alpha is temperature coefficient if alpha is positive it is acts like a metal that is conductor if alpha is negative it acts like a semiconductor examples of resistor in our practical applications heater incandescent bulb iron box stator or motor braking system transmission line machine winding etc so if we talk about inductance inductance is electric electromagnetic property of a material which stores the energy in the form of electromagnetic field so inductor is a component it is modeled as per our requirement and designed as per our requirement and it is purely classified based upon the what core material core material okay what are all the core material ferrite core iron core or air etc so symbol is represented like this okay so unit of inductance is henry or volt second per ampere and range lies from uh, micro henry milli henry henry etc this is v equals to l di by dt kind of ohms law so totally there are nine kinds of ohms law with different components i will explain in further classes or upcoming classes okay uh, if you talk about basic formula for inductance l equals to mu into n square a divided by l 
where n is nothing but number of turns of a coil a is here you can see the number of turns okay area of cross sectional of core in meter square where l is the length of the magnetic flux path so mu is nothing but permeability okay there is absolute permeability and its value is 4 pi into 10 raised to minus 7 henry per meter and relative permeability if you talk about relative permeability relative permeability in air or free space is 1 and relative permeability in iron it is 1000 examples of uh, inductance or choke coil transformer machine winding transmission line so if you talk about the next if you talk about the capacitance okay it is a electrostatic property of a material and stores the energy in the form of electrostatic field so capacitor is a component and it is modeled and designed as per our requirement okay it is classified based upon dielectric material what are all the dielectric materials we have it is polyester mica distilled water glass paper oil these are the some dielectric material capacitance is purely depends upon this dielectric material okay and symbol is like this okay it seems like a battery yes so unit is farad or ampere second per volt and ranges lies from picofarad microfarad millifarad farad etc and represented as i is equals to c d v by d t this is one kind of ohms law as i said before so it also represented like v equals to 1 divided by c integration of i d t and basic formula is c equals to epsilon a divided by d where epsilon is nothing but permittivity of a capacitance here we have absolute permittivity and uh, what relative permi permittivity of a dielectric so if you talk about absolute permi permittivity its value is 8.8542 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per meter and relative permittivity of dielectric uh, dielectric in air is 1 where here a represent what common cross sectional area between electrodes in meter square and d represent distance between electrodes in meter as distance increases between two electrodes the capacitance will decrease okay likewise if we talk about examples of capacitor okay phase shifters power factor vr corrections passive rc filters pulse generation digital circuits touch screen of cell phone transmission lines okay so now quickly uh, look into power so what is power the rate at which electrical work is done in an electrical circuit is called power once again the rate at which electrical work is done in an electrical circuit is called power and unit of power is watts and it is represented like p equals to v into i joules per second or watts okay work done per time taken okay so and ranges lies from milliwatt megawatt uh, sorry watt kilowatt megawatt or gigawatt so power can be expressed as p equals to vi or i square divided by i square into r or v square divided by r i square r is nothing but power dissipated in an element so if we talk about electrical energy an electrical energy is the total amount of electrical work done see the difference between power and electrical energy here rate at which electrical work is done here total amount of electrical work done okay in an electrical circuit is nothing but electrical energy that is power times the power into time so v i t unit is joules or watt second so we know that watt second is a smaller unit so in practical applications or practical scenarios electrical energy is measured in bigger units right so in your home also uh, your meter reading or meter capacity in one kilowatt hour like that so watt hour or kilowatt hour if you talk about one watt hour one watt into one hour so one hour we know that time is in seconds we need to convert this one hour into seconds that is 3600 seconds so one kilowatt of energy is nothing but 1000 into 3600 watt that is 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joules okay uh, if you talk about uh, power factor it is the cosine of the angle between voltage and current this is the what definition of power factor once again it is the cosine of an angle between voltage and current this is the cosine of an angle between 
voltage and current ok current as a reference ang, uh, axis so power factor should be 1 we should maintain the power factor 1 it should be unity why because for better efficiency and good voltage regulation and it has no unit ok so thank you for watching in upcoming videos i'll take a, take up some problems related what are all the things which i have discussed and after that i'll make part 2 video which covers all the uh, topics remaining in the uh, electrical circuit okay not the network analysis network analysis where i will uh, talk about network definitions uh, some star delta transformation other things like uh, superposition theorems and all everything i will discuss in part 2 okay so thanks for watching please if you like this video share and subscribe to this channel and share with your friends who are preparing for kpd cell assistant electrical inspector once again thank you